Only on ABC 7 News tonight, the story behind the San Francisco building. This one, the sign visible from a Bay Bridge off ramp says now leasing. Despite a new name and even a new address, it is not new at all. It's a building with a troubled past. Good evening, I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. To understand this story, you need the background. And for that, we go back two years. That's when the building at that time called 33 Tahama flooded not once but twice in two months. The first time a rooftop pipe burst sending 20,000 gallons of water through the 35 story building. Yeah, take a look. The floor is carpet, but it appears shiny because it's wet. 600 people had to move out. The building flooded again two months later. Construction workers who were fixing the building had to evacuate. Residents returned kept getting delayed. Some say stuff was stolen from their units during this time. Dozens sued the building's owner, alleging chronic mismanagement. Now, the 35-story tower is reopening under a new name, Spira. It even has a new street address, 39 Tahama Street. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn looks at what's changed. It is a story you will see only on ABC 7 News. It literally felt like I was in a Godzilla movie. There was water dripping down from everywhere. Ankur Sharma shudders at the memory of what he and hundreds of other tenants went through. At 33 Tahama, in June 2022, tenants were forced from their homes after a massive flood. Thousands of gallons of water poured down through the entire building. Heinz, the real estate development and management firm that owns the building, said a water main that is part of the building's fire sprinkler system failed at the top of the building. Now, two years later, the building has reopened. Tenants have moved into the newly renamed Spera SF, which even has a new address, 39 Tahama. A spokesperson for Heinz released this statement saying, quote, As of last month, approximately one-third of the original residents from 2022 have returned to the property. And of those who elected to retain their leases throughout the extensive restoration, nearly 75% returned to the property. Sharma decided not to return after he learned that his rent would increase by 50%. He now lives in San Diego. I wouldn't feel comfortable living there. Uh, anymore, just you know, given the uh, the false promises they've made so far. As for the new name and address, what do you think about that? It's a sham. They're basically just fooling people so that you know the previous results don't pop up on Google search. So that's why they changed the name. They've changed the address and the story. Attorney Nazi Fahimi represents 90 of the tenants who lived at 33 Tahama in a lawsuit. We're going to continue to pursue them. We are hoping for a resolution um, because it's clear Hines and defendants are liable. And these folks should not be delayed anymore in being compensated for what they've suffered through. Spira SF says they've done restoration and renovation work inside and out. They're just trying to cover up for what has happened and they're just trying to erase what has happened. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.